Good evening. Thanks for tuning into your favorite station, African Free Press Television, where we report Africa from a refreshing perspective. And guess your day is coming to a very good end. My name is Leo Kip, and these are the stories we're tracking for you at this moment. Justice Anwale Chikere of the Federal High Court in Abuja has granted bail to former Interior Minister Abamoro, who is facing charges over the 2014 tragic Nigerian immigration recruitment in which more than a dozen job seekers died. Mr. Moro was given bail on self-recognition and without conditions. The judge said the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission failed to prove that Mr. Moro would interfere with his trial. The judge, however, ruled that two other defendants should pay 100 million naira each with a shuti in light sum. The shutis must be of the Directorate Kada in the civil service. The shutis and the defendants are to submit two recent passports as well as their international passports. And the shutis must also have landed properties worth the amount in any other part of the country. And Mr. Moro and four others are facing an 11 count charge of money laundering. They are accused of defrauding 676,675 applicants of the sum of 676,675,000, being the aggregate sum of 1,000 naira each paid by the applicant to Drexel ahead of the recruitment. The upper chamber of the National Assembly on Wednesday passed a resolution which slashed the registration fee of Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination UTME from 5,650 naira to 2,500 naira. This came following the adoption of the report of the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund on the inquiry into new admission policy of the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board JAM. At the plenary session Wednesday, uh, the Senators also recommended the extension of the validity period of the UTME to three academic years. Uh, the Senate also adopted the recommendation of the committee chaired by Senator Binta Masikarba, APC from Adama North. Uh, that's the change of institution, course form and other incidental activities around the exam should be free. And the allegedly abducted 14-year-old girl, Esther Oruru, has arrived in Bayasa State in company of her mother, Mrs. Rose Oruru, and some police officers from Abuja. She was allegedly abducted in August 2015 by one Eunice Adahiro, also known as Yellow, and taken to Kano, where she was also allegedly married off. The Commission of Police in Bayasa State, Peter Okunyawo, confirmed Esther's arrival. He said she arrived a few minutes before 8 p.m. local time. On arrival, she was taken to the officer's mess and went into a secret meeting with the police commissioner in Yenagoa. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has deferred the arraignment of the former Chief of Defence Staff Air Chief Marshal Alex Badet till March the 7th. Uh, this comes after the former Chief of Defence Staff was accused of diverting over 3.9 billion naira from accounts of the Nigerian Air Force by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The court had earlier fixed a Thursday March they thought for Paddy to enter his plea to the 10 count criminal charge the EFCC preferred against him. And however, the case could not proceed as scheduled owing to the absence of the trial judge Justice Abang Okun, who was said to have travelled out of jurisdiction. The Adama State Born former military chief was appointed chief of defence staff on January 16, 2014, by the former president Kulok Jonathan. He was succeeded by Major General Aboyomi Olanisaki on July 13. 2015. And the former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Diaziani Alessian Madweke, who is currently undergoing extensive cancer treatment in London, has strongly refuted claims that she gave two $24 billion oil swap deals without contract. In a release issued to journalists in Abuja, Mrs. Alessian Madweke rejected some newspaper and online reports which sensationally claimed that she granted an extension instead of approval for the renewal of contracts for the swap arrangements. She described the letter's attack on her personality as fabricated tissues of lies deviously concocted to sustain the escalating evil narratives against her person. And now on the foreign scene, malicious transport minister said there is a high possibility that debris found in Mozambique came from the Boeing 777, the same model as missing Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. Australia said the location was consistent with models of where ocean drifts could carry debris. The one meter long piece of metal was found on a sandbank at the weekend. MH370 disappeared in March 2014 while en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, carrying 239 passengers. 
And despite an extensive uh, deep water search led by Australia, the plane and all its passengers remain missing. And South Korea Defense Ministry says North Korea has fired six short range projectiles into the sea. Uh, this is coming hours after the UN imposed tough new sanctions. The ministry said there were either rockets or guided missiles. Correspondents say it is being seen as an act of defiance against the sanctions. As earlier, the UN Security Council unanimously voted to impose some of its strongest ever sanctions against North Korea. The new measures are in reaction to North Korea's recent nuclear test and satellite launch, both of which violated existing sanctions. They will result in all cargo going to and through the country being inspected, while 16 new individuals and 12 organizations have been blacklisted. In the United States and North Korea's long-standing ally China spent seven weeks discussing these new sanctions. And these are the stories we're tracking for you coming from African Free Press Television this evening. For more, please log on to our website at www.africanfreepress.com. Follow us on Twitter at African Free Press. Like our Facebook page at AfricanFreePress.com. Do join us in our discussions on various interesting topics at African Free Press Forum and subscribe to our YouTube channel at African Free Press. From me, Leo Ketan, the whole team in the studio, is a very good evening to you. Do enjoy the rest of your night.